My name is Lindy West. I'm a co-founder of Shout Your Abortion. Um, I had an abortion in 2010, and I just was young, and I was in a bad relationship, and I didn't make any money, and I lived in a studio apartment, and I didn't want to have a child at that time. Um, I do want to have a child. What I, what I want is to have a family, and the person that I was with at the time was very clearly not my family, and it just wasn't it wasn't the right time. And so I went to the doctor and she told me I was pregnant and I said, cool, give me the, <laughs> give me the stuff. Uh, and she said, no, you have to go to a special abortion clinic. And I was like, what? Cause I was not aware that the doctor is not where you get an abortion. And I was, kind of enraged because it's a, an emotionally trying moment. Um, so I think I yelled at my doctor a little bit and I feel bad about that because she's really nice. So I called the clinic to make an appointment. They said that will be $400. And I said, but I don't have $400. And they said, so then I started crying and then the head of the clinic got on the phone and she said, if you promise that you'll come back and pay when you get your next paycheck, we'll do it. And we don't usually do this because a lot of times people don't come back, but I really want you to stop crying. <laughs> so, um, cause I just wanted it to be done. I just wanted it to not be inside of me anymore. And I wanted to pretend like my, I wanted to go back to pretending like my bad relationship was okay. And, um, this was really throwing a wrench in that rationalization. Um, I didn't want to wait two more weeks. I didn't want to have a embryo growing inside of me for two more weeks. So I promised, I promised, I promised. And I went in and the girl working the front desk had gone to my high school, which was awkward and should be illegal and but she was really nice and we pretended not to know each other and then um i got my abortion i mean i just it, i was three weeks you know it was minuscule um and so i just took a pill went home took another pill lay down uh and then it was done and i and i went back and i paid my fucking bill for sure and then they sent me a thank you card because they were <laughs> glad that I paid them. Um, and you know, overall, I'm just so grateful that I had that I had access to that clinic and that some woman was willing to take a chance on me and let me make this choice for myself at the moment when I really needed to make it. Um, and you know, my stakes were low, relatively speaking. You know, I could have waited another couple weeks and and paid for it out of my paycheck and I, and I would have been fine. I live in a liberal city. I live in Seattle. There are clinics where I can get abortions. Abortion is legal and accessible where I live. Um, but even with all that, it's still, uh, it's still a complicated, stressful thing to go through. Um, but uh, I have to say that the abortion itself is the least stressful decision. It's all of the baggage around it that, that makes it stressful. Um, so yeah, I'm grateful and I'm not ashamed and I want other women um, and pregnant people everywhere to be able to make that choice with a complete set of knowledge and information and options.